Hey, party people. Good morning, Krusty Crew. It is day three of Brick Fair, Virginia. We're heading over to Convention Center. We had a nice barbecue lunch. I got some Starbies. I made Ross hold it. I got brisket. And I'm feeling pretty energized today. A lot more of our friends got into town because we got here early. Wednesday was like the very earliest you should get here. So it just makes me really happy. I'm excited to see more of our friends today. Yesterday, there wasn't too much of a schedule. There was a garage sale at 5 p.m. And I think we won. <laughs> I think we won the garage sale. We did a really good job. I got my Woody's Roundup. I was thrilled about that. That was like my white whale Lego set. So that was really exciting. There's actually another garage sale on Saturday. So stay tuned. I'll be filming that one as well. And today we're kind of just hanging out. There's only one thing going on and that's in about 30 or 40 minutes. There's an ambassadors meeting. So we'll go to that. That usually lasts for about an hour. And because today's the last day before the public days on Saturday and Sunday, I want to film a few more of the builds before it gets a little crowded in there. I found a Barbie dream house and I love that one as well as the lover house like Taylor Swift. It's so cool. Here we are. Day three convention hall. Ross is still holding my coffee. Thank you, Ross. Brick Fair is kind of just in a giant warehouse, but it's pretty cool. There's a ton of space. Okay, wow, here's a little progress update. Definitely go check out my other videos about Brick Fair because I showed kind of the progress of this table so far. I am a huge DCI fan. I used to really, really keep up with it. And this is a giant drum and bugle core build. That is so cool. I'm excited to see if there's any more added to it. It looks like there might be some extra minifigs to add later on. And then check out this giant friends build as well. I love all of these weird cardboard base plate things. Like I don't want to touch it, but you can kind of see in there, it's like a cardboard texture. And then checking out the Empire Lug Table, they have so many incredible builds here. Like check out this one here, the giant forest in the background, all of these trees. I would love to have something like that in my Lego city. I was at the Lego store the other day and I found those tree trunk pieces in yellow but what are you gonna do with that what are you gonna do with a yellow piece so I wish I could one day find them in brown because I would love to create something like this and then this one over here from Anthony is just the coolest diorama I feel like this is kind of Ross's style of build too that's what you would do R.I.P. Yaddle Yaddle it's when Yaddle died oh which, the Jedi. is it the green one yeah oh. it's like Yoda but Yaddle Oh, R.I.P. Yaddle. We're still kind of perusing, checking out the different builds, but something kind of funny about the convention center map is that it shows, you know, like Empire Lug, Rebel Lug. It has all the different tables labeled. And then David's table here is like way in the front and it's just like Battle of Geonosis part two. He has his own setup here. It looks really good. So let's take a look actually. Okay, so Emily gave me the mic so I can uh, mansplain this entire mock to her. They all have little hard hats on because they're planning their little Death Star and droid factories. You go down here, you can see the little droid conveyor belt. It looks like it starts from the ingot they get legs and then a body and then a head and I guess maybe at the end they'll get their arms so much like love and effort in there look at all the little snot pieces it's just really nice and slick and I believe those are dots cupcakes that's a dots Aww. cupcake piece there I and on top of Dublo yeah <laughs> Isn't that funny? So there's some Dublo and some dots in here. And last over here in the front, you can just see the big battle here. We won't go too into it, but a lot of the things I, that sticks out to me is he's got two Republic dropships. That's a pretty big flex. And I really like that he's got those B1 battle droids in that color. It is not easy to get B1 battle droids in that color. So that is also another flex here. We're going over to check out Jean's helmets now. These are cool. Sabine. Oh, a bunch of different. Oh, they're just all the so different Sabine Sabine. from each season. That's cool. Okay. I think I liked one of these two the best from the series. It was kind of cool how her outfit changed every season. This is from the old school animated Clone Wars. I like it too because they have like the art troopers. And then the really cool thing is they have the pearl blue B2 battle droids, which you, you can't get anymore. Those only came out in one set in 2002, I think. I have a body of one with the legs, but I don't have the proper arms, which is sad. I found Ross again. We got separated. What did you find, Ross? giant Rock Raiders monster. Oh, that's cool. It's a Blacktron and Rock Raiders crossover event. All this rock work makes me so envious. Like, I wish I knew how to do all of this, especially for our LEGO City. We want to add a lot more rock work and just better detailing. And seeing stuff like this makes me really inspired to go home and learn and make better things for the city. Even the detailing along this wall here, all of those different pieces used, I see a lot of pab pieces, which is actually pretty incredible because I'm always trying to find different ways to use our pick a brick pieces since it's so much cheaper. This is all just really well done. And then when you step back, 
you can see the giant scale to this. I am so impressed. And I was showing some progress updates on new Hashima over the last few days, but check it out now. If you haven't seen those videos yet, they were telling me earlier that not everyone from Chicago is gonna be here. And so they're trying to find different ways to incorporate everyone's builds into it, because it's not gonna be the exact same thing. However, they were saying it's gonna be a lot bigger than what we saw in Chicago, so I'm really excited to see the end result. The hard lug here has this giant airport. Look how massive this is. This is incredible. I've never seen a Lego airport this big before. It's a ton of empty space, but that's so realistic. Oh, wow. <laughs> he just lit up the lights for me. Thank you. I'm just awestruck right now. All right, we just got out of the ambassador meeting, got to meet up with a bunch of other content creators, and that was really, really fun. But now I'm with Ross and Jean, and Danny Bob just came over. I'll see you in a couple minutes. Bye, Danny. <laughs> and we're going to be doing some sort of battle pack short form thing. I don't know. She wanted us in her competition, so we're going to do it because it's fun. I don't really understand the rules fully but I think we need to build 10 clones and do it quickly we don't know what's going on here she is yes okay are you part of this too I am I was invited I'm so excited <laughs> yay That's here's the line of people the one they on, have some great uh, Wow. Oh, Tyson. Wait, did we get to keep these? We were Tyson's the other day. They didn't have that. No. No. Ooh. Lame. Wow. <laughs> you get the privilege of uh, Who gets uh, opening them all. Not everybody you gets get... this great honor. <laughs> Top my camera. <laughs> the hair went up. It was very stressful. Um, we did not win. I didn't win. Ross didn't win. I think Maticus Bricks won. Oh, gosh. But that was really fun. Danny also let us each keep one of the clones. So many clone boys. I think Jean was missing a head on one of hers, though. Thank you, Danny. That was You're fun. Welcome. The winner. Winner, winner, Ahsoka Trooper. I guess. <laughs> you did great. So many clone boys. So I got a vibe that they were going to do like a Hawaiian shirt night. So I brought my Trader Sam's representing. Uh, hopefully I win first place. I think I will. I didn't know it was a competition. I just thought that they were supposed to wear Hawaiian shirts. Also, we didn't even know about it. Ross just packed this. Whoa. That's great. By the breeze. <laughs> the frame rate actually makes it look so funky. <laughs> you can't tell, but it's actually spinning really fast. Yeah, with this whole Hawaiian shirt thing, I definitely didn't get the memo. Like, everyone's all dressed up. They all look so cute. Like, I'm usually the colorful one, but I am very boring today. I picked the wrong day to be boring. I had to open and walk down. I have no idea what's happening, but I think this we're gonna. This is B roll. Oh, uh, it was like supposed to be cutesy. I had no idea this was going on. This is so much fun. So yeah, this Hawaiian shirt thing. I didn't realize how big it would be. But look at all these guys behind me. Look at that. They're just having the best time. And you know, even though I'm like decked out in Scooby stuff, whatever, I feel like I kind of fit in now because I have my lays. It's not like an official Brick World thing. It's just like a group of people got together and said, hey, bring your Hawaiian shirt. So that's kind of fun. <sighs> all right, we are out of the Hawaiian crowd. I still have my lays though. And now we're heading over to try to find our friends Claire and Sands as well as Lauren because they just flew in this morning. Lauren's been here for a while, but Claire and Sands flight just got here. Oh, I found them. Oh, I'm so happy. Claire and Lauren out in the wild. <laughs> we just found okay, out. So I haven't been keeping up with my other channel, Anti Stud. I thought by now it would have popped off, but I was like, oh, I guess it's not going to pop off. Well, I was talking to Claire and she's like, oh, congratulations on your Anti Stud video. And I'm like, I, what are you talking about, crazy lady? It turns out that I haven't checked Anti Stud in a while, and my video is at 100,000 views. This is nice. So, this is what happened. So, about, what is that, 20 days ago? I guess it started uh, growing, and now it's at 100,000 views. And uh, that's news to me, so it's been a great uh, brick fair so far. I'm pretty happy. Thanks for watching my Anti Stud content. <laughs> Subscribe to Andy Said if you haven't yet. I just can't believe Ross's video is taking off that much. That is absolutely crazy. But anyways, 
Now, me and the group are gonna be heading over to Starbucks. I already got some Starbucks today, but they wanna go, so I'm just gonna go with them. It'll be fun. The exhaustion from the convention starting to kick in just a little bit. We've been here since Wednesday, so that's been two days so far. It's so nice getting to talk with everybody and meet people and just like be away from home. I don't know, it feels like a vacation even though it is so exhausting. Plus, I also just saw Clarence Sands like a week ago at Disney. The gray yellow sun the last two hours in a hotel vegging out. I worked on some editing, Ross took a nap. Now I'm with my friends. We're going to Taco Bell, unfortunately. I wanted McDonald's, but nobody else did. Tacos for dinner. The McDonald's is actually right next to Taco Bell, so maybe I could go get my own food, but if everyone else is eating inside the Taco Bell, I can't bring my food in. So it would be like a really awkward eating through the- Wow, looking. things must be so hard for you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to do right now. <laughs> and really tough decisions being made. Yeah, it looks good to me. If you want her. No. No. It's all about the Baja. That's cool. Wow. about 8 45 p.m this thursday we just got back to the hotel room watching a little bit of bluey oh it's friday sorry we're trying to be pretty quick here though because at 9 p.m is when the world of light starts which is when at the conventions they do this at a lot of them actually they turn off all of the lights so you can actually admire the different builds lit up so many mock builders include lighting in their builds so this finally like gives you a chance to really admire that and so I'm gonna try to take you guys with me and show you what that looks like. It might be a little bit dark, obviously, so we'll see how that goes. And by the way, guys, if you missed the video from yesterday, you should check it out because look at this. I got Woody's Roundup. I am so happy that I found this. <laughs> Watch the video. The whole garage sale going on at Brick Fair was insane. All right, that was pretty quick. <laughs> Time to head down. Stopped by the hotel, but I forgot to use the restroom, but luckily I found this. Okay, you're done. Yeah, four minutes till showtime. This is actually pretty cool. So yeah, only a few minutes left. GBC is working hard to get everything going. This is one of my favorite things to see when the lights go off because all the balls light up and then you see them going around and like, look at this crazy thing. It's gonna be so cool. Here's the airport build from earlier. I'm excited to see this lit up at, at night, you know, with all the lights off. All right, the lights are off. This is so exciting. So let me just kind of walk you through some of this. The loop-de-loops, do y'all see that? Look how cool that is. I could stare at these all day. It's so satisfying seeing how all of this works. And then this one is a train car taking balls back and forth. These are always some of my favorites though. These giant contraptions. They're so creative. Basically what GBC is great ball contraction. It's just like find the most creative way to get from A to B. And people are so creative with it. And then this one here is one that I really wanted to show off. Look how beautiful this one is at night. A lot of the GBC stuff isn't really too lit up, but this one is. You can see the ocean there. And then they've modified the Lego Ideas Lighthouse. I'm kind of surprised the top isn't motorized right now. I feel like that'd be perfect for this. But doesn't that look so cozy and homey? Oh, wow. And then the waves are going. Sans just showed up and he was saying that these here are the biggest wheel elements that have ever existed. So there's your little fun fact of the day. Over on the other side of the GBC table, they have all this black lighting that's kind of fun. And then this giant thing carrying it over because there's a gap right here. I guess you can walk through that. Oh, wow. And check that out. Isn't that so satisfying? That one's like shooting them. It's crazy. And over here, this one's so crazy. So there's this giant weird contraption, right? And the balls are going up. You can kind of see them there glowing in the dark, going up the ramp. They go down this giant thing. I wish I spent more time before this so I could actually see all of it. You know, it's kind of dark. This is just one of the coolest thing I've ever seen. I love GBC. But now we definitely have to go check out New Hashima because this build is one of my favorites. It is so beautiful. It is gigantic and especially lit up at night. There's just so many details to it. I feel like even if I stared at this for eight hours, 
I couldn't see everything. Right in the middle there, there's like a Galador figure or something. I'm not sure what that is. There's also always a huge crowd around this build because it's obviously amazing. But then there's some smaller builds like this that have a lot of charm, especially when they're lit up. There's this giant farmhouse and you can see all the lighting coming out of the windows, the lamp posts are lit up, and then there's a cop that just pulled someone over. This is the city actually that I showed in a previous video from Brick Fair, but check it out. The bridal shop is all lit up. It's beautiful. You can see a lot more going on on the inside now that there's actually lighting in there. I love the creativity in this downtown display as well. This is so cool. So they have the upper level being just the modulars, you know, just the modulars. There's also some mocks and modifications here too. But then you can see a really nice pathway on top. There's a lot of detail. There's a rock work there it's kind of hard to see because it's you know dark but then there's a layer of water with dolphins and stuff it's the top of the water and then below it it's all the coral the coral reefs sea life it's so cool this is such a creative concept having all the different layers like that it's a little bit brighter over here but check this out it's a whole avengers downtown area all the lighting looks really good how they did that especially around the explosions oh that's kind of fun too there's a train just there this is so cool wow i am so inspired by all of this i love all the creative minifig placement it's incredible okay wow i think i might have just found my favorite build here this is incredible i'm kind of geeking out with ross next to me right now this is amazing it's so cool there's so much movement it's obviously bowser's castle if you couldn't tell it's a build by chelsea chesterman and just wherever you look there's something happening all the character placement all the movement like this is so nostalgic for me this is incredible Probably just wow. it off. There's a little like. Oh, that's beautiful thing. inside, too. Yeah. All right, I think that might be our favorite build. We just decided that is cool. Right now, I'm kind of hanging out towards the right side of the convention hall. We haven't really been over here too much, but check these out. These giant builds are all lit up. They are beautiful. And then over here, I haven't even seen this clone army yet. This is crazy. It brings me back to my days of Halo 3. Look Ross is really excited about this Halo build and it looks incredible. I love this build over here. When you look underneath it, it's all built up. This is just absolutely beautiful. You can see some more information about the builders here. But wow, this is just so impressive. All of the archway kind of techniques going on over here. I'm just so inspired. I want to go home. Like, I like it here, but I want to go home because I want to start building and using more of my pieces. What time is it? Uh, 9.43. Oh, okay. I think our group's feeling pretty tired, so we're gonna head back to the hotel now. We have girl dinner, which is like, you know, little weird things that you piece together to have dinner. So we have some string cheese, cured meats, candy cookies, their chips ahoy, and just a bunch of stuff like that. So we're gonna go back and maybe snack for a little bit. Here's my group. I'm excited for little snackies because Taco Bell never really fills me up. I don't know. Again, I didn't even want to go there. I wanted a cheeseburger. <laughs> 